morning, Satnam. Here we are. Ah, I think I'm on time, maybe. Um, so today is day 10 of our Kundalini Yoga challenge to learn to cultivate the inner stillness amidst turbulence. Uh, there is, good morning. Uh, there is lots of ways that we could look at um, anger. So it's energy, and let's just say it's turbulence, right? And I'll give you a fresh example from yesterday uh, after our practice, and I continued on to do my practice. Um, I've learned of a very sad news that my high school friend, who's also a relative, um, her husband passed away. Her husband is the same age as me, 46. And uh, I felt really, really sad. I cried because it, it, it's, you know, she has two beautiful children. A uh, week before, my uh, classmate from Kundalini teacher training, her mother passed away. She had a stroke and gun and just like that people go and just like that we will go and so in this you know in that moment of sadness and then I watched a very heart breaking performance of a boy that was a dancer who was blind and he leaped off the stage just leaped with full abandon and his partner caught him and to have such faith is amazing and so feeling this raw emotion you know within myself I step into my house from a yoga shed and I see empty popsicle containers of the little treat I made for myself because I'm trying to get this uh quarantine body under control been doing really good so I made myself a while back a frozen bananas with chia seeds and lemon juice and cacao nibs uh, for popsicles and I haven't had a chance to eat them but when I walked into the house in the kitchen they were all gone and boy did all that just Oh, I was like a little kid having a tantrum. Who ate my popsicles? <laughs> it was, uh, it, it's funny now, but in that moment, it was a combination of total anger and being able to be aware that I'm getting angry at something that really, what's the big deal? And it was like, wanting to cry and wanting to laugh because I was witnessing my own reaction. And it was so like <laughs> paradoxical. Um, and my son ran out and he's like, mom, I'm sorry I ate it. You know, I thought you had, no, I didn't have any, you had all four. And uh, I said, okay, 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 I'm not angry at you. I'm, I'm just upset. This is, you know, this is what happened. This is what I'm sitting with. And this just <laughs> triggered it. And so um, realizing that in that moment, realizing and witnessing those emotions all kind of come up and being caught in this uh, paradox of wanting to cry like a little child whose ice cream got eaten and you know, on top of every, all emotions that I was feeling and wanting to laugh because I'm a grown woman, for Christ's sake, I could make more. Uh, so that was, that was really funny, but that was the moment, you know, instead of allowing the anger to escalate and to create this avalanche of going into yelling and screaming you know why did you eat my stuff it's too healthy for you you don't want to eat healthy stuff uh because they all pick on me right that i just <laughs> am too a uh, food food fanatic um and just coming to peace with myself and realizing 
okay, I, I see this, I witness this, this surge of emotion and I could manage this. I could, I could kind of just witness it and realize it and understand that this too shall pass, right? I'm not shutting it down, I'm not suppressing it, but I was also almost proud of myself for realizing that in time, instead of having this whoosh, avalanche of rage and anger coming, clashing on my son, who really, you know, like any kid would, if you see a treat in the freezer, you're gonna eat it. And, uh, you know, what I got out of it is that he really liked it, you know? So when I make it, he makes fun of me, but then he eats it. So, you know, uh, so I wanted to share that with you. So I want you to notice today in this practice that we do, and we beating our fists back and stuff. And then in the end, where we take that deep inhale and we hold, that is the moment that I really want you to notice. How does that feel in your body when you suspend that breath and you pull the root lock, you contract, you consolidate, you gather all your energy into one single point. Because from that point, that is the deciding point. Where is it gonna go? Where That's the point of stillness. That's the point of, you know, stillness, shunya. Complete stillness, it's a zero point. That is the point of all potentials, all potential reactions or actions or responses that you could take. And so in this practice today, I just want you to find how does that feel when you hold it and then you let go. So that when you're not on the mat, when you're out in life and turbulence happens, can you call upon that sensation of stillness and just be calm as things move around you? So that's what I wanted to uh, invite your attention to today. I am happily wearing my husband's pants. I wonder if he'll notice. <laughs> All right, let us tune in, uh, bringing our palms into the heart center, sitting up nice and tall with lengthened spine, chest is lifted up, heart is open, shoulders relaxed down, chin slightly tucked in. Let's take a deep inhale and full exhale. Again, deeply inhale. Mentally setting an intention for your practice for today. Exhale. Again, deeply inhaling. Feeling gratitude for and to yourself for showing up for today's practice. And exhale. And let's inhale deeply to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Ad Guru Jugad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Siri Guru Dev Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Siri Guru Dev Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sad Guru Name, Siri Guru Dev Name, Deeply inhale, Root Lock, suspend the breath, Consolidate. Claim yourself, calm yourself is the expression commonly used. And then exhale, relax. Satnam. Okay, so we're doing three minutes. Fists of anger. Mudra is thumbs are pressing on the mound of the pinky. 
uh, the fingers are wrapping around the thumb and it's up to you how tightly you want to squeeze you know uh, uh, in kundalini yoga tradition thumbs are representing the ego and earth and so if we have that spiritual ego that nagging voice you know you could try to suffocate it no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding so making sure the arms pass over your head uh makes the strokes powerful but more than that i want you to really focus on the breath because the breath is what changes the energy within your body okay so here we go again counter indications for women who are menstrual cycle or pregnant long deep breath instead all the breath is happening with the power of the navel inhaling out exhaling in like somebody's punching you in the stomach you're deflating the belly fully and here we go let's bring the eye gaze to the third eye start with the breath and begin going I invite you to hold a gentle root lock so you stay connected and grounded through your sit bones seconds. Interlace the fingers. Take a deep inhale through the O-shaped mouth. Pull up, squeeze. Be still. Powerfully exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Squeeze tight so your body shakes. Exhale. Last time. (sighs) 
Gently bring your hands onto your lap. Nia Mudra or Buddha Mudra, resting in your lap. Close your eyes, go into the space of calm, peace. And just observe the flow of your breath. The inflow and the outflow. Let's take a few deep inhales. Side out or exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. On the next inhale, if you're ready, you gently open your eyes. And take a little bit of water. I am hoping that those of you who are practicing consistently and you know who you are, um, that you keep in a journal and uh, you're noticing and observing and writing down your observations, including your dreams, including all the situations where you've kind of were able to witness yourself reacting or responding to turbulent things as they reveal themselves. <clears throat> okay, the meditation. So the meditation, I really enjoy this meditation and I wish we had more time to expand its time from six minutes to 15 minutes or 11 minutes. Uh, I do feel that it's very powerful but if six minutes is all you've got and this is all that we set out to do then that's great that's great in your own time if you find and if you make the time extra um do it again you know do it again because it has a cumulative effect and with the suspension of the breath is that we are activating that reflex within the body to allow our pranic body to reorganize and reshuffle the, the pockets of energy that's within the body. So again, this is done with inhaling five seconds, exhaling five seconds, suspending the breath for 10 to 15 seconds. Um, and again, notice, just notice how it feels to be without the breath, to hold the breath out. Is there a sense of panic? Is there a sense of calm, you know? So just navigate your own currents of energy and just witness it, just watch what happens without judgment, without criticizing, nothing is wrong or bad or good. It's the thinking that makes it so. You're here just to witness. It's almost like learning the energy currents that, that course and run through your body we're all energy there's energy all around us this this is a cosmos of energy and sometimes we bump into people whose energies kind of clash with ours and it's that sensory awareness of your own energy that helps you navigate all these other things coming at you and everything's coming at us at great speed so here we go eyes are Eyelids are down, 9th, 10th closed. Hands are on the heart center, so on your chest. Thumbs are up. All fingers together. Elbows are slightly flared out. We use a metronome to keep us in check with the breath. Let's take a deep inhale. And full exhale. And begin. Five seconds. Inhale. Five second exhale. Five 
Relaxing the diaphragm and the muscles of the abdomen for 10 to 15 seconds. Holding the breath out. Keeping this cycle.
make this your last cycle. And take a deep inhale. Suspend the breath as you engage the root lock, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale. Inhale deeply. Root lock, shake the arms. Exhale. Deepest inhale. Shake vigorously, shake so your spine shakes. And exhale. And gently close your eyes, go within. Feeling rather than thinking. Let's take a deep inhale and exhale. Another deep inhale and exhale. Let your arms into the heart center to seal the practice with one long sat now. Inhale deeply. So So much for joining us today and before you go I just wanted to ask you if you are so um, willing to do to chant a call three times uh, this is we do in Kundalini Yoga tradition to help the soul cross the ethers to merge with the infinite a call means undying that part of us that is eternal, our soul, our subtle body and our soul body. It's done on long breath, so we may be together, we may not be in sync. If you run out of breath, just take another inhale and continue. We do it three times. Bring the hands into the prayer mudra, take a deep inhale. A so much i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day it's a happy hump day <laughs> and i'll see you tomorrow same time same place satnam